In this video, I am going to show how to download and install PostgreSQL and PG Admin on Windows operating system. So let's get started. At first, open your favorite web browser and browse this URL postgresql.org. Then click on download link and then select the operating system. Click on this link to download the PostgreSQL installer. I am going to download the latest version of PostgreSQL. Click here to download. Go into the downloads folder. At first, open PostgreSQL Windows installer. If you asked a question from user account control, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Select a yes option. Now click on next button and then select the installation directory. This is the default installation directory. You can install it on a different directory. Click on this browse button and then select the directory where you want to install. I am going to install on this default directory. Click on next. Now select the components you want to install and clear the components you do not want to install. I am going to install PostgreSQL server and also pgadmin4 and stack builder and command line tools then click on next now select a directory under which to store your data this is the default data directory you can change this directory click on this browse button and browse the data directory where you want to store then click on next I am going to select the default data directory. Now provide a password for the database super user Postgres. Enter the same password again to confirm the password. Then click on next and select the port number the server should listen on. This is the default port number. You can modify this port number but I am going to use this default port number. So remember this port number then click on next. Now select the local to be used by the new database cluster from this drop down list. I am going to select the default local then click on next. Now click on next. The setup wizard is ready to begin PostgreSQL. So click on next to begin installation. It may take a while for installing PostgreSQL within the components pgadmin4. That's it. The setup has finished installing PostgreSQL on my computer. If you want to install Stack Builder right now, check this box. Otherwise, uncheck and then click on Finish to exit the setup wizard. Now verify the installation. Open command prompt and write this command psql hyphen hyphen version if you say this you should set the path environment variable for postgreSQL so open edit the system environment variable now go to the system variable section and select path click on edit and then navigate to the local disk C 
then program files find out post gray sql navigate to the version then bin subdirectory copy this path and click on new paste here to add this path click on ok 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 now exit the command prompt and reopen now write this command psql hyphen hyphen version hit enter that's it post sql 17.2 installed successfully now open pg admin Now I am going to connect to the database server. So enter the password for the user Postgres. This is the super user. Enter the password for the super user. You can save this password. Click on OK. That's it. Now I am going to create a database. Now select the owner from this drop down list and then click on save. That's it. And also I am going to create a table in this database. I am going to name this table student and then select the owner from this drop down list okay and select the schema public okay then click on save now i am going to add a new column enter the column name student id select the data type you can set the length click on save now i am going to insert a new record into the student table so select students table right click then select query tool now write this query here for this table then execute this query now verify the data so use this query if you like this video like comment and share thank you so much for watching this video